The following demo sequence provides a brief overview of some of IMPACT's key features. In this sequence, we're going to take a look at the IMPACT standard libraries, 3D Creator and Layout Creator features. I'm going to begin by opening the IMPACT standards browser and locating the design style I want to use for this project. The standards browser displays IMPACT standards in subgroups of CD and DVD wallets, POP displays, folding carton styles and corrugated styles. I could also elect to go to impactcad.net to see if any new styles have been added to the online library. The variety of choices is extensive with in excess of 3,500 star variations currently available. Having identified the design I want to use, all I do is click the create button and select a material, which will automatically apply the appropriate material variables from this point on. I'm not going to change the internal dimensions in this instance and can change other aspects of the design if necessary. However, because I'm happy to accept the default settings, all that remains for me to do is to click the finish button. A new project layer is created, complete with a fully dimensioned structural design. If we take a look at the database tab of the Impact Explorer, we can see that information about the one-up design has been automatically recorded in the Impact database. This information includes internal dimensions, blank size, blank area, blank weight, board grade and design style, but it can be expanded to include other information if necessary. At this point, I'm going to introduce some artwork, but before that, we'll turn off the visibility of the dimensions for clarity. Next, I'll select the cut lines and open the artwork placement wizard. Having located the artwork file, I can associate it accurately within the structural design with just a few clicks of the mouse. To view the design in 3D, I simply start up the 3D Creator feature and apply a single click to whichever panel I want to be the base of the design. I can see immediately how my rendered design looks in 3D and can check for any problems associated with the structural or the graphic content. At this point I could export the design as a bitmap in an interactive format such as U3D or create a video animation using Impact's powerful 3D animation feature. Next I'm going to return to the 1UP layer and produce a nested layout using Impact's layout creator feature. Once started, the layout creator will apply the settings it last used to produce a layout for one or more sheet or machine settings. These sheet or machine settings are stored in the Impact database and can be customised to mirror the production environment of the user. If I switch between the two machines in this example, you will see that the material direction of the one-up design will determine its orientation in the layout thus avoiding any possibility for error. I also have the option to select from a range of standard nesting patterns, which can be used to increase sheet utilisation or to meet specific production requirements.
Currently, this design is nested in a manner that doesn't produce a high sheet utilisation, but perfectly suits production on a rotary die press. However, with just a few mouse clicks, I'm able to apply an alternative nesting pattern to see how the sheet utilisation can be improved. Once complete, a new multi-up layer is created in the project, and if I return to the database tab in the Impact Explorer, I can see that information about the layers has also been recorded in the Impact database. Default layout information recorded includes sheet or machine name, board grade, number up, sheet extents, sheet utilisation, waste percentage, waste weight and waste volume, all of which are vastly important as packaging manufacturers attempt to respond to the call for greater sustainability and also to obtain a reduction in costs both for themselves and for their customers.